r slash today I learned. You learn something new every day, what did you learn today? Today I learned that Queen Elizabeth has an official shoe wearer who breaks in her shoes so they don't give her blisters. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel, where I upload daily videos. Today I learned about Dave Thomas, who was a mentee of Colonel Sanders, who came up with the idea for the rotating bucket sign and having the Colonel appear on TV. He later sold his stake in four of his franchises back to Sanders for $1.5 million, then went on to found a chain of restaurants called Wendy's. Today I learned of a colony of ants with no queen, no males and no offspring, comprised entirely of non-reproductive females, that live in a disused nuclear bunker in Poland. The colony is supplemented by ants falling through hole in the ventilation which cannot escape. Today I learned that Weezer's number one hit, a cover of Toto's Africa, came to be because of a persistent 14-year-old who created a Twitter account and wouldn't stop asking the band to cover the song. Today I learned that in 2006, William Shatner sold a kidney stone for $25,000 to an online casino. Shatner then donated all the proceeds to charity. Today I learned that in and out burger food containers include Bible verses. Since at least 1987, the soda cups, milkshake cups, burger wrappers, and French fry holders all have references to Bible verses inscribed on the packaging. Today I learned that Leonardo da Vinci's philosophy teacher died because he consumed too much watermelon. Today I learned that in the 12th century Chinese polymath Shen Kuo correctly theorized that rainbows are caused by the refraction of sunlight through water droplets. Today I learned that every year at 3 p.m. on Christmas Eve, the 1958 special Donald Duck and his friends wish you a Merry Christmas is screened on Sweden's main channel. Swedes are so compelled by the cartoon that last year during the program, cell data usage fell 28% and calls to emergency services dropped 16%. Today I learned that an American prisoner named Mike Kurtz ate soap which made him look sickly and nearing death tricking the governor into pardoning him for his 12 year sentence. Today I learned that there is a neutron star that spins 716 times a second meaning the star's equator moves at one quarter the speed of light. That's a rotation of 43,000 miles, 70,000 kilometers, per second. Today I learned that Vincent Van Gogh wanted to be a pastor and didn't start painting until 1880 when he was 27 years old and his most famous works were done while he was a patient in an asylum a year before his death in 1890, completing nearly 900 oil paintings in just 10 years. Today I learned that in 2015 the US forces wanted to update the loose lips, sink ships warning from World War II, warning against sharing information with others outside the forces. They had to tailor it for the social media generation, and came up with. Loose tweets destroy fleets. Today I learned that in 2008, a woman died of blunt force craniocerebral trauma when a 75-pound, 34-kilograms, spotted eagle ray leapt out of the water and knocked her over onto the deck of the vessel she was aboard. The spotted eagle ray also died at impact. Today I learned that 35-45% to 45 of cases of borderline personality disorder are influenced by genetics. Today I learned that in 2011, a 29-year-old Australian bartender found an ATM glitch that allowed him to withdraw way beyond his balance. In a bender that lasted four and a half months, he managed to spend around $1.6 million of the bank's money. Today I learned that that after Lance Armstrong was stripped of his wins, seven successive Tour de France races, 1999 to 2005, were officially declared without winners because so many riders who finished behind Armstrong were also associated with doping offenses. Today I learned that dogs play sneeze when they're feeling excited or playful. Play sneezes mean your dog is having a good time and indicate to other dogs that their behavior is only play. Today I learned that the Wright brothers only flew together on the same flight one time, a six-minute flight on May 25, 1910. They promised their father, Milton, they would never fly together to avoid the chance of a double tragedy and to ensure one brother would remain to continue their flight experiments. Today I learned that when one adventurer drove a Jeep Wrangler to the world record altitude of 6,646 meters, he left a sign saying Jeep parking only, all others don't make it up here anyway. The next record breakers, who had a Suzuki Samurai and climbed up to 6,688 meters on the same volcano, removed that sign. Today I learned that, that when David Bowie died in 2016, the German government thanked him for a concert he held in Berlin in 1987 stating it was a major reason Berlin was unified and tore down the Berlin Wall. 
Today I learned that that Harry Houdini had skepticism of anything mystical and had intense anger at miracle workers, spiritualists, and mediums that preyed on vulnerable people. Today I learned that about teaser stallions whose job it is to tell if a mare is ready for mating. He never gets to do the actual mating, the valuable stallion does. Kind owners sometimes give him a consolation mare to mate so he doesn't get sexually frustrated with his job. Today I learned that there's 3,200 year old Egyptian tablet records excuses for why people missed work. Today I learned that of oxygen candles, which release oxygen when burned. They are used as an emergency supply of oxygen in submarines, airplanes, and the space station. Today I learned that about the horse, Sergeant Reckless. A horse who served with the Marines in Korea. She was able to haul ammunition by herself without a handler, would seek a bunker or lay down when under fire and receive two purple hearts as well as other medals for her service in the Korean War. Today I learned that the people in the medieval era shared their bed with the entire family and even the occasional overnight visitor, only the very rich could afford more than one bed and poor people just slept on piles of cloth or hay on the floor. Today I learned that a Turkish mother that read lecture notes for four years to her blind daughter in law school, has been awarded an honorary degree with the daughter. Today I learned that about Theo Van Gogh, Vincent's younger brother, whose unfailing financial and emotional support allowed his brother to devote himself entirely to painting. He also died six months after his brother's suicide and today they are buried next to each other at the cemetery of auvers sur oise Today I learned that since 2004 at least 18 have people died from contracting rabies after receiving organs from infected donors. Transplanted organs are not typically screened for rabies virus, which can incubate for up to a year or more before symptoms manifest, after which time it is nearly 100% fatal. Today I learned about the Financial Modeling World Cup, which is essentially the World Cup for competitive Excel users. Participants solve real-life case studies by building financial models in Microsoft Excel. $25,000 prize fund. Today I learned that in 2019, a Windows XP computer infected with six types of malware was sold at an art auction for $1.3 million. Today I learned that Virgin Atlantic kept having passengers steal their popular salt and pepper shakers. Instead of removing them from the plane, they placed the words pinched from Virgin Atlantic at the bottom. The shakers then became dinner table conversation pieces and free advertisement. Today I learned that Weezer's number one hit, a cover of Toto's Africa, came to be because of a persistent 14-year-old who created a Twitter account and wouldn't stop asking the band to cover the song. Today I learned that in 2004, a fake Sri Lankan national handball team tricked its way into a German tournament, lost all of their matches, and then mysteriously disappeared. A farewell letter thanked the Bavarians for their hospitality. Today I learned that after the tragic suicide of socialite Dorothy Hale, Frida Kahlo was commissioned by Hale's friend, Claire Booth Luce, to paint a likeness of Hale in remembrance. Instead of a beautiful portrait, however, Kahlo painted a sequence of Hale leaping to her death from her 16th story apartment. Today I learned that the Aboriginal people of Australia have occupied the land for more than 60,000 years. Today I learned that Skyrim has been officially released 15 times on 10 different consoles. Today I learned that the word hurricane itself comes from the Taino-indigenous Caribbean word huracan, meaning evil spirits of the wind. Today I learned that the first 3D feature film was a silent drama called The Power of Love, released in 1922. Viewers could choose a 2D happy or tragic ending by closing one eye. This historic film and a later 2D version called Forbidden Lover are presumed lost. Today I learned about Lisan Aldan Ibn al-Khatib, an Andalusian polymath who proposed the idea of transmissible diseases, and more precisely that the bubonic plague was transmitted from person to person, centuries before Louis Pasteur and Jon Snow. Today I learned about the shepherd tone. An audio illusion that creates the feeling of consistent, never-ending rising slash falling. The illusion is achieved by playing overlapping notes that are one octave apart. In this way, the sensation of rising or descending notes never ends. Today I learned that despite being the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter also spins the fastest. It completes one full rotation in just under 10 hours. Today I learned that Elvis Presley's breakout hit Heartbreak Hotel was inspired by Alvin Krulik, a depressed divorcee who was killed while robbing an El Paso liquor store. Krulik had claimed he walked a lonely street. It became the Heartbreak Hotel's gloomy address and one of the song's most memorable lines. 
Today I learned that when his film Uncut Gems began to receive critical acclaim, Adam Sandler threatened the world with making the worst movie ever if he did not receive a nomination for Best Actor at the Oscars. He was not nominated. Today I learned that a cat led a rescue team to an 83-year-old woman who had fallen down a ravine. Today I learned that there was a Masonic-style group for Catholics to join in the 18th century called the Order of the Pug. Initiates had to wear a dog collar and kiss the rear end of a porcelain statue of a pug. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, show your support. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below.